Hello my fellow felines, this is Kitty Cat Plays with Yarn here, and welcome to a Create a Sim collab with the wonderful Forever Sims Love. I will link her channel in the description down below. But also, it's Valentine's Day, so we decided to essentially do a LGBTQ plus love collab. Um, and essentially, the idea to this was do a couple that wasn't straight. Um, that wasn't a like a heterosexual um like you know a straight man and a straight woman so i decided to make two um females who, well um nyla is trans but she identifies as female um so yeah she's like um before surgery so like uh, I don't, I don't want to sound ignorant, but I'm just not, um, very, I guess I'm kind of ignorant when it comes to these things. Like, I don't know very much about it, really. Um, but I, like, support it fully, and I don't think it's, like, I think it's natural, and I don't think it's gross or anything. Um, so, like, I'm not hating at all. I just don't know much about it. Um, I want to make that clear. So, this um, lovely sim that I started out with is Nyla Harrington, and she is gorgeous, but she's also really quirky and cute, and I really, really like how she turned out, and the sim that she is, um, only roommates with, wink wink, is named Callie. I can't remember her last name at the moment, though, um, but they're kind of polar opposites, which is cute, um, so Nyla is very tomboy, um, and doesn't, like, w I don't know how to sound, like, not, she is very, um, n while she's outgoing, she doesn't like people, if that makes sense, she's just had bad experiences, bad experiences with people, so she doesn't, like, she always takes everyone with a grain of salt, and, um, she doesn't really trust people. But, um, yeah. And she doesn't wear makeup, like, pretty much ever. Um, except for her formal wear. Um, because Callie's kind of like, Come on, babe, let's go, like, out and look nice. And I'll do your makeup and we can have lots of fun. Um, but their backstory is really sad, as I said before. They actually met in one of those, like, transition camp things. Um, like, stereotypically Christian camps where um, parents will send their children who are not straight to become straight and um, that's where Nyla and Callie met and they instantly hit it off they like they well <laughs> Callie wanted to um, kind of I guess bend to her parents will and be like yeah I'm straight now ha 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 um, but like she she wanted to she legitimately wanted to be straight, um, but that's not how it works, obviously, like, you know, you, you're, you just can't, like, turn straight if you are born, like, gay or lesbian, whatever, um, so, <laughs> so Callie at first was like, no, we're just friends, Nyla, like, chill, um, even though Nyla had, like, really strong feelings for Callie, and she still does, and then Callie started gaining really strong feelings for Nyla, as they stayed connected outside of the camp and their parents didn't know either um, because they were like, no, we don't want you talking to anyone from there. Like, even though you're converted, I don't want you to talk to anyone because they might not be and they may turn you back to evil. <laughs> um, so, and then they both grew up. They met when Nyla was 18 and Callie was 16. So that's kind of why Callie kind of was like, yeah, I'm straight now, ha ha ha, um, so that's why Callie wanted to still bend her parents' will, she kind of had to, essentially, and, um, Nyla was kind of like, yeah, whatever, this isn't gonna work, um, but okay, so then after they stayed friends and started developing a lot of feelings, and Nyla was like, Callie, fucking, like, move in with me, I want to be with you forever, blah blah blah, and I want to eventually marry you, um, and that's why they're classified as roommates, because they are still technically not out, 
and it's really sad that they're not, um, but that's just kind of the world they live in. They live in, like, a really small town that doesn't accept anything like that, um, so yeah, and that's why they're not married either, because I, I wanted to make them in cast boyfriend and girlfriend, but, or girlfriend and girlfriend, I mean, but you can't do that, um, just because it's not the way The Sims 4 works. Like, you could in Sims 3, but you can't in The Sims 4, so it's kind of sad, but whatever. So, they're only technically roommates, um, because A, they're not out, and B, they can't get married in their state yet. And it's really sad, and Nyla takes it really hard. And so does Callie, but, um, Callie isn't... I don't know, Callie is more of the type to be like okay, I love you, you know that, I know that, and I don't care who else knows. While Nyla, on the other hand, is like, I love you, you love me, I want the world to know. Um, and both of those are, like, two different kinds of people that I see in my life, and I feel like they're just, like, two different types of people, and, um, yeah. I don't know, but I think they, they're really cute. I kind of want to play with them. Um, but I don't know. Maybe after my Vampires LP is done? Um, maybe, maybe not. I'll figure it out. But that's like a month-ish from now. Two months-ish from now, actually, so. Well, yeah. Like, April-ish. March, April, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, you guys, they are on the gallery, um, and their story's written out there. Um, more than just my rambling about it. So if you want to go check that out, they're on the calorie under hashtag kitty cat PWY. Obviously they do have, um, custom content or you can find them under my gallery name, which is kitty cat PWY 16. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, enjoyed their backstory and think they're cute. Cause I do. So I'm going to go right meow, but I hope you guys are having a perfect afternoon, evening or whatever, wherever you are in the world.